layout for the the pattern maker's layout for the crankcase, which uh, everything is there. This is only half the length. It's over here, but, but everything we need is on that uh, pattern maker's layout, which in turn we picked up our information to make the this pattern that he's putting in the mold over there, and, and also this core box, which has all the change pieces in it to to get the various internal units of one, two, three, four cores that lay side by side out of that core box mm -hmm. that uh, forms it. So then that's for the crankcase. And then here are all the... Uh, the water jacket, I mean the water manifold, and then there's the water jacket layout. And this is all uh, laid out very accurately with the shrinkage allowed in there. We use a, it says eight inch shrink rule, meaning that we use a, a rule that's been divided up. It's an eighth of an inch longer per foot than a normal uh, rule. So there's the uh, water jacket layout, and here's his, uh, the water pump, the two halves of the water pump. The layout is there. And then here's his gear, his brass timing gear layout. And this is the layout for the uh, connecting rod bearings, which is this pattern here. There's the, that's his, uh, these two bolt together. And this one, of course, is a casting on the, as a whole unit, the wrist pin and the, and the, the the crankshaft bearing in. This is the, the core box that uh, that uh, makes a hole in this one. And then this is the the core box that makes the the light mm -hmm. off the side of the mat. So there's your your front and back covers. And here's your water pump. There's the water pump when the two castings go together. That's the core box that makes the water uh, the water jacket, which is here. This, this, this pattern makes the core box is what makes the uh, This is uh, the uh, water manifold pattern. And here's, the, here's the core box for it here. That's the that's the plug that it was made on. So that's a cord. And that's a uh, poor plastic to, to get that. And then this this uh, this is a vent that strip when we before we put that core together after we filled it with sand and then we put this piece down there in order to have a hollow channel to let the gases out. And here are the cores that are made over here. That's the sand core. This is the core for core box for the cylinders, or those. Back to the layout again. Uh -huh. The uh, the four cores set side by side in there, which form the the baffles and all the bearing, uh, the crankcase bearing and the and the uh, uh, camshaft bearings and all the little reinforcing ribs that are inside that casting uh, is the secret is this uh, box then we, have, we also have this core this core here which uh, 
goes under the bracket where the where the nerves of his magneto sets on. Uh huh. Uh huh. And that that forms the shape underneath that to uh, get that ledge out there with the the ribs on the side of it, which it can, and then all the comes apart. You get. There we go. This, uh, okay. See that box yeah. that comes apart here. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's, that core's rammed in there and then they, yeah, they do it all okay. apart. There, there it is. That uh, gives the ribs on the, on the side of the deck. Yeah, so it wedges itself in. Now, for the, the real box here, this, this box here is, they have to ram and tuck the sand all inside here to, to make those cores that are outside that you'll probably want to yeah, I, so a picture you, of those after we get through explaining here. You've so got that, the that's, you, that's rammed with that closed up. This is all rammed with sand, and we strike it off. Yeah, and then we put a, a, a bottom board on it and roll it over. This hurts. It goes over like so. Well, first. First, we pull this bar out because it'd be trapped in there. Then we roll that thing over like so. And we pull all the pegs out. All these pins are both things together. Oh, you're going to help me? I'm your helper. Yeah. Then we we we'll wrap that box and and lift that off of it. I think I can do it. The, 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 the. Normally you got sand there holding that. Yeah, the sand's holding it all together. Normally, when we take it apart, but anyway, then, then with that lifts away, and, and this one lifts out of there, and this pulls away, and then that one pulls away. So, now you paint these silver just to make them smooth, have the sand release easy. Yeah, to keep that snow the sand from sticking down. Yeah. We find that just regular sanding sealer, it has a tendency to stick to it. We also pledge the patterns. We wax them. Regular, ordinary furniture polish pledge. Uh -huh. And we uh, put it all over all of these patterns so that it releases well. Now, we'll get back to this box after, after that box has been... been uh, a core had been made in there. You gotta be careful on that side over there because they've got four gates, so we've got to hold. There's four we got all these. We got all these. Oh, here, here's the, the basic box. Now then, we're gonna set it up for core A. We've got four cores involved: A, B, and C, and D. So we've got. We'll set up for core A like so, and then. Core B, we set up that combination, and for core C, we will set up this combination, and core D, we set up that combination. So now, what I'll do, I'll set up core A for you. Here's, here's core A. I need panel... 
you've got these panels labeled. And I need uh, I need panel R and I need panel A. That's B. This must be in panel R. So this was all planned off of that layout over there to, uh, to make all these various units. So we've got panel. Panel A, and we've got panel R. Now it says that uh, panel R gets uh, a piece F2 and LPXR. So we've got This little piece has to go in here to blank that out. And uh, then we've got this unit has to go in. Right here. And this pad, little pad has to go on. And that pad is labeled it does for three different things. We got a red, a red pad, and we got a one in the center, and we got a blue uh, uh, setup. So here it goes on the red pad. So I got, I got a on the red, on the red pad. We got a, we got a hole back here, and uh, that goes. Find the long rods. This rod got long. Damn, they look long enough. What the hell is that? There it is. I got to get it the right side up too. piece that goes in we got uh, LP and XR goes in that one goes pinning right right back in here okay now we got panel XY goes in here. And we got so that one goes down like so. We've got this panel which gives the angle. We've got an angle here, but we've got to close that off while we're ramming the sand in there. So then this goes in. Now we'll grab a bunch of pins to hold all this stuff into place. Can we take a look at the angle on this before you put it in? Just up from the side, so we can see, because you can't see it. 
that angle yeah. of the, there, yeah. the reverse. That's Great. to match the taper on the outside. It's just drafted, but, but it has to be the angle so that it, the pattern pulls out of the sand. And also we want the core to match it because when it goes down, it, it positions that core in, in front and back so mm -hmm. it stays put. Take you to do this box to figure this core box out. Yeah, and then, and then build it. <laughs> yeah, it. Uh, uh, that's part of pattern makers training is to. Uh, and then we got this bar that goes there, and that's the core box now is ready to make core A. And after core A is made. Then we'll switch it over to core B and and, and so forth. So that's. Uh, uh, so you understand why the automakers now use foam cores, huh? <laughs> they use what? I've got grease gum. <laughs> they grease it and grease it. We, we've we've got a. Uh, Take that thing apart and clean that shaft out of the grinding. That's a parting to keep the uh, the uh, sand from sticking. It's a really just a uh, lot of it on the next one probably. All right, I'm gonna get this from here. Oh, I got this still slate here. Up here. Huh? And the specialized sand. Oh, that dark sand? Mm -hmm. That's reclaimed. So that's your See, filler. Put, we're putting yeah. new sand against the pattern, but we're we're using reclaimed stuff in the bulk. Okay, put some more 70 around that. When you go to the beach, do you have this terrible desire to make sandcastles? <laughs> The sand has got uh, water glass in it? Yes. Box, well, it's too pretty. Yeah, that took a little thicker over. We got some rise. Yeah. 
I do that.
Valuable industrial artifacts. on this end. This 
sides where it comes up. No, no, no. Okay. There. There we go. That's very heavy on. Yeah. Heavy on this one. Yeah, this corner. This corner. A little bit. Okay, that's good right there. Sorry. A little more didn't do it. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good. You got the cope on it. There you go. There. Okay. Let her down. Well, you got
free? Oh, why? Don't they drive you crazy? Was it yeah, free? Yeah, that up every day. Yeah, I know. Oh. It wasn't going to cost us anything? Ready, Joe? Seems oh. like it has they speak with a forked tongue. <laughs> okay, I got six old and cool. Means I'm in the center. Everything else is open. I got those. We're six inches here. Thereabouts. Down screw, that's where we're going to pour. Oh, okay. All the metal flows through those two bags? Yep. Is that right? Hopefully. <laughs> well, yeah, all kinds of busting fingers right now. <laughs> yeah, but I thought, <laughs> I thought there would be a, that surprised me because I thought it would be it's probably a little larger than I am. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's what I know. Well, the vents are big. Those on various spots he marked there. Yeah, those are the those are the risers. Which risers. That's what feeds the casting and then lets the also lets the air out. Yeah, 
little bit different than the green sand. Yeah, green sand you gotta really pound it hard to keep going. Core sand, it, you can not be as hard out in the area but concentrate where the pattern is. So we need about an inch thickness of the white, the, the yeah, that's just new a stuff. Facing, the it's a better, a better quality sand. It's new sand, so it gives you a little bit of a cleaner surface.
Got those crossways? Yes, dear. You sure we didn't move this out farther? We had it right there. We didn't have it out here towards the corner more. We had it right where that damn boss was. Isn't that a heavy wall anyway? That whole wall was a heavy Solid, this right? Way. I'd rather have it out to the corner. There goes your phone. Okay. Yeah, the corner's heavy. Everybody's trying to sell everything now. Yeah. Well, they're, all, they're all hurting. Oh, yeah. the lost wax method. No, no, we, we don't do that. But, uh, no, we do it different old-fashioned way. <laughs> 1904. We'll lose your wax real quick if you come here. <laughs> it can. Why? What's the name of the foundry, the lost wax process? Well, it was Intracast. I don't know if they're still doing it. What is it? Intracast. They were in Santa Clara. I don't know if they're still doing it. 
Okay, give me some more uh, right in this area here where you've got that roll. So put it right up on that roll. More? Mm -hmm. They get tight down in there if you. You just got these different sizes. Of the yeah, six spot. inch go on the long one. The metal just eats right in or washes mm -hmm. that sand away. That's the long one? That's the long one. You mess, you, you got yeah. sand mixed in there. And six. Yeah. And so it's, it's important that you get those corners sharp, and that's something yeah. that it takes time. And, and uh, Okay, uh, another six. Huh. Five, where's the five? The right right there, right in there. the production foundry, the uh, foundry, foundrymen have a tendency to just throw the sand in and, <laughs> and Ran the molds up the Give me some more. squeezer that squeezes yeah, the yeah. yeah. Jumping. They, they don't, I don't always get it tucked carefully, but yeah. when, we're, right when we're going off to a one off oh, thing I'm like this, we'll take extra care. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them have something that shakes them a little bit, vibrates oh, slightly. Yes. Yeah. The, the big outfits, they got sand slingers that shoot that sand right down in there. Oh, yeah. We're guys right on top of the city. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be magic. You'll see the video is just going to fill up magically. <laughs> yeah. So, no trick to this. Anybody can do this. Go ahead. Any backyard shop does that. <laughs> it takes 15 minutes to make one. Right. Yeah, that's got to be 70. We got to bring it up around the pipe. Don't keep building me up too fast here. Get this in. Certain length of time? No. Could we could leave it even till tomorrow as long as we leave it open and we dry it good. Okay. We don't want to watch it, watch it. We got these pegs in here. We don't want to leave it, we don't want to leave it closed up and then try to pour it tomorrow because oh yeah. That's already really We better or we'll lose money on the job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can make it much anyway. Lunch, though, can't you? Yeah, it's okay if I put some here? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I got to get another riser on that. So oh, you want some rods in this thing? Yeah. I wanted to put rods in here. There's a couple little. Get some. There's a couple little shorties out there in the box. I just set them back in there. Huh? No, I don't get shorty. I just want to put it right in here. Just like this. There. And then you, you know, support those little castings for me. You know, the way. And on the reason. I got to get a riser on this. I had a long time. A long time. And I thought. Man, that would be interesting, you know, if I could just do that. I just wanted to do it. I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. I didn't know how to put it in. You need some sand. Yeah, I have no idea. So, pile it in there. And I can never just pile it in. I made a basic pattern, and that was really uh, learning the process. I just wanted to do it. Say that I've done it. Yeah. Here we are. Here we are. Someone, someone did the drawings on this. And uh, John, and, and uh, maybe your crew too, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We have kinds of fancy door pulls and 
the real fine furniture, you know, the really delicate mm -hmm. stuff in that. And I always work. And I always try to kick out of my center. And then Jay, I said, now in a world that you make that, that one out of that piece of iron. He always come back with me. He says, well, he'd pick up a piece of iron there in the shop and he says, well, the shape's in that metal. All you got to do is find it. <laughs> it's really the feel of everything that doesn't look like what you want. Yeah, and then you got it. <laughs> yeah, let's build this up first. We got you. Yeah, they cut those out. He did some of them with the, the manual machines and some of them was done with EDM machines and the, I don't know how much more you got. Then after it's all finished, they look absolutely gorgeous. Like, they're not finished. they got to polish them. I really am. No matter what you're doing, you just got to know what you're doing. Just like these things. Right. Have somebody watch me and make one just for fun. But <laughs> so has he ever sent you any aluminum... Uh, no, Valentine's cards or anything? <laughs> In aluminum envelope? No, got to that. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh huh. 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 Uh Oh, yeah. You need some more? Yeah. Oh, I think we got enough. We'll just Where's bring the grease this, splatter, huh? Bring yeah, this works. to the outside corners. That's all I care about. To get that kind of fat where it roll over, Dad. <laughs> Build that up on the outside edge. The inside, we can even have it a little hollow over. You know, the half. He bought up a bunch of these old PBY uh, okay. planes and he sold them to these various countries down in South America. And then he was supplying parts for them. And they, <laughs> it wasn't too long ago that we made some casting for it. They still got those damn things flying. It's 50 years yeah. later. And Get out of the way. You uh, get it straight with. 
the fast sort of deal. The sand bled through for okay. a little. Okay, yeah. Uh, are the are the risers been out? Yep, I pulled them off. I figured that was marbled rye or something. Huh? <laughs> risers are out. Yeah, that's some of the old sand filled through. Look all right. Everything look gassed. Looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, shut your eyes, I'll start putting them in over here. Okay. That is pretty. Let me get out of your way. 
we got to get a fillet around these risers, so otherwise it will uh, show an indentation mark into the casting. Oh, because it'll suck back. We've got to go down in here a little bit with a rod down in there. Down in there. Check for those. You let me know when I'm in your way. You will? Okay. Now. No. <laughs> Better to keep from right in here where the risers gates will have to come out, but we can get those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you fill from the two sides, fill the risers, and they fill. They keep keep the pattern full, hopefully. Yeah, that's just yeah. They feed. Those with those round things are mm -hmm. insulated risers, and that stays molten the longest. Well, that's why it's insulated. Right, and then that, that keeps feeding the cast, and the casting will solidify before those will ever solidify. Mm -hmm. And you'll see them shrink down when we pour it. You'll see those suckers. Will, they'll stay liquid, and then they'll start. Pulling in. I was wondering why they made them so heavy. They're really yeah. good going on these. They were insulated, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, and they're insulated. And that keeps the whole mass there. To keep and pressure did they down. ever stink? I don't know what they got in them. God, they stink. <laughs> we uh, we got to be careful when we set that goddamn core under the uh, magneto board. I remember I broke the core last time, remember? Yeah, I remember we had a little problem getting that core, the mag sand you core. Set that thing and I had hold of it. And you had a, a yeah, you were down on your hands and knees, and we had the other right over top of. Okay, let that old guy get down on his knees here. Down there on the purple. Oh, <laughs> there we go. You ready? off your haunches. You gonna come up? Don't forget to get those. I don't even remember how we pulled them. I don't think we have a screw hole in them. We'll put like a that. screw in there and then I guess we just vibrated it back. Put a slide hammer on them, that's all. Yeah. 
even if it wasn't, we'd still. Yeah, that's what he's building right there. is on. I turned her on. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I just asked a few minutes ago, is the gas on? I just turned her on. Down in the bottom of that furnace, too, there's a lot of stuff down in there. Right. Make sure the hole is all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to go in there first, too, right? Yeah, yeah that's the first one in. It's got to go in before the other big ones do. Right. Spots John's gonna machine and put in some other. <laughs> Should I melt down those cans? Cans, yeah. No, that's too <laughs> soft. <laughs>
right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it bounced and twice when I stood on it. Right. <laughs> it's, just to, it's just to try and warm the mold and make sure there's no moisture on the surface. Okay. Any moisture, it'll kick right back in our face. So that's really all it is. It doesn't really burn yeah, the surface. Really to put that uh -huh. in there. It's just try to dry it evenly. Yeah, Move up on the side and slide it in and set it down again. It's not, of course, it's, it's not dry all the way through the mold, but it's it's like that basically the, the surface. Blood in your finger? No, it's. Stuff. What is it? I don't know. It's your spray. It well, I don't know what it is. It's got it. Okay. I don't know whose blood it is. Isn't <laughs> that beautiful? Scratch a scratch a hand hold I think we need a hand hold. We can do it like this. But my hand's gonna be in the way. Okay, let me get the hook. Yeah, that hand's gonna be in the way. Okay. You're gonna put a little paste in the bottom of that too. You're not gonna go anywhere, but just I think you still got to do a little adjusting on them. Sorry. You want to get the paste on there and then you're not going to be able to adjust them. Pop. Okay. Can you can't get a hold this way? It's not. Adjusted these things, and you're, you're gonna get me. We shouldn't be putting paste. Not put any paste on we had to adjust them. I think this had to go this way a little bit. Why is this not sitting down in the goddamn thing? Sitting down in the bottom of this rectangle. Oh, bottom, we got man. this too tight. It's not sitting in here. It's too tight in here. Pick it up. Wait, let me get. Get a hold. We have to shake all of this balloon. Don't run out if you're back 
in there. Come forward with a pen. This is not in there. Stay forward, stay forward in your print, and let your ass end down. Okay. Okay. Right. He's right on the on the mark on the line okay. too, so it must be just looking good. We've got the quarter. Okay. Now okay. yeah, you're gonna switch sides. <laughs> so this one has, has uh, uh, sections between the cylinders. Yeah. Well, not complete. Oh. There's. Uh, there's ribs on them, right. but they're <coughs> essentially you've got enough bulkheads. to slide. Yeah, yeah, there's enough to slide the crank through it. Is there a cast iron sleeve? What's that? Is there a cast iron sleeve? Uh, yeah, it's cast iron. Well, cast iron cylinder. Right? This is part of the, of the cylinder. The cylinder. The cylinder's bolt on the top of this crankcase. Guide me in. Let the ass head down. I'm trying to envision it normally with the head on it. Yeah. The head is maybe uh, the head in the next thing to look at her. Yeah. Uh, you can tell huh? that. We in. We lined up. It's there with the mark. Okay. There it is. It's touching on the other side. Right. Yeah. Good. Okay. We wrote the little one off the propane uh -huh. and the big one off. The, I don't know whether I actually have enough fire in the gas coming there to run the two or not. Yeah, you might have to. Cast iron actually runs like water. Yeah. It does? Yeah. It runs worse than aluminum. Is that right? Yeah, you, you got it. Yeah. Go ahead and over there, I'll close it, Joe. Okay, no more than a quarter tip that goes into the casting. And actually you got to choke it down. If it goes in too fast, it will burn you. Because it's not
You're taking the big one? Take the 
Yeah, yeah. If it rises now, we're we're running. Yeah, if it's liquid down underneath, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Deep <laughs> deep through there. See mine. Still runs. <laughs> Carmen, can I, uh, Carmen? Yeah. Can I, can I get a picture of that? You, you betcha. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mike. No, that's okay. You can come over on this angle, or you set up already, Mike. Yeah, the other down. That's it. Ground bill. Is that running now? Was it running when I was in front of it? Yeah. Oh, what does it matter? Tape's cheap. Hit it! Ooh, it's all coming. Hang on, hang on. I've got a wager. It's locked in. You've ruined this uh, mold. This mold. Yeah, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You ain't seen nothing yet. Right. You want to see ruin? Wait till you see what Joe's got a shovel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving pretty soon. Let's. Uh, Where you? Hmm. Which way do you want to go? Get another hand here. We just slide it this way. Oh, uh, it's uh, a high tech job. <laughs> He's ramming the mold. Yeah. Joe uses the high tech equipment.
case like that he says it's uh it's a real touchy thing he said we'd probably have to make about three or four of those to get you a pair of them this yeah. is homer's engines yeah i don't know how that'll come out but we'll see <laughs> 